Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, or Chakurash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also, I'm to give a Shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing teaching the truth worldwide, and Shalom to all you sincere listeners and you sincere believers. All right? Just uh, here with an article, proving and showing and emphasizing the steps being taken to truly shut down the prophets, truly shut down the truth according to the Bible, okay? And this is from uh, <clears throat> Smart News. All right. Or Newsweek, it says um, the Supreme Court is about to hear a case that could change the Internet as we know it. All right. So we continue to scroll on down. It says for years, Washington has been stumped about how to regulate the Internet or if it should even try. But the Supreme Court is set to hear a case next week that could completely transform our online world as we know it. All right. It says on Tuesday, just as. Justices will hear arguments for Gonzalez versus Google, a case that challenges Section 230 of the Communication Decency Act, a 1996 law that grants Internet platforms immunity for most third party content posted on their websites. The arguments will revolve around tech algorithms with the plaintiffs say boosted extremist messaging in the lead up to a terrorist attack. And we know, according to to this world and according to you know uh <laughs> you know the uh what's a set to be what's a set you know a accepted among this society all right is that our teachings are what uh categorized as hate speech it's char- categorized as a uh extreme message all right it's categorized as t I can't just, we can't express the whole word, but the T word that's mentioned in this paragraph, T like behavior, because we, we simply teach of what the scriptures say, as in Babylon, the great, which is America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles in the midst of World War Three, which is also uh, biblically uh, prophesied. OK, we, we that we that we mentioned that uh, utter chaos is to take place in tribulation and troubles to, is to happen in the last days. All right. That we are to are that the heathen nations are to go into slavery according to the Bible, under the rulership of the Hebrew Israelites, which make up you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Messages as such, all right, make this world un- very, very uncomfortable. All right, very, very it put it put them at a very, very unease state of mind, especially when they hear the scriptures that align with these Bible prophecies. All right, so they're going to go to extreme measures. To shut down the prophets. But that's just Bible prophecy. But it says. Let me continue on. It says. They argue that the section 230's protections. Should not apply to the content. A company's algorithm recommends online. And therefore Google is legally liable. Liable for the extremist videos. Published on his YouTube service. And we know that as, as men of the Lord. And as prophets. The Lord has ordained. Or truly the Lord has set up. Uh. The great platform of YouTube to to wake up uh millions of Israelites, man, to wake up the elect, Lord willing. Okay? And they're going to attempt to shut this down, man. All right, with this with this taking place with the court hearings and whatnot. All right. It says while the hearing is set for next week, a resolution isn't expected until June. And we're hopeful for these prophecies to come to pass because them shutting down the prophets. It's not upsetting, you know, us or making us, you know, angry or whatnot. It's truly going to fulfill Bible prophecy, okay? Of Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Now, I'll read the scripture, of course. But continuing on, it says, Section 230 is the reason why companies like Facebook or Twitter are not liable for content users create and why a website is not legally at fault if someone writes a slanderous criticism. But it has come under fire in recent years from critics who say it, it enables misinformation and protects sites known for spreading hateful and extremist rhetoric. Man, they're they're uh, they're co- they're going to come after because everything else that's that's uh goes viral or trending on Twitter 
uh, on the news. All right, they they promote it, okay, but not they but they shadow ban the 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 lessons and the videos and the shows of the prophets. All right, especially of the, of the branch of Great Millstone, man. All right. It says, but it has come under fire in recent years from critics who say it enables misinformation and protects. See, so now they get to control the narrative of labeling what's what's true information and what's false. All right. But we know what's true according to the scriptures. It says and protects sites known for spreading hateful and extremist rhetoric. OK, so they want to choose what's what's hate speech or what's not, you know, what's a hate act and what's not. All right. But it's going. This is all going to backfire upon the so-called white man's infrastructure, his government, his society, his system, this his entire layout. Okay, it's going to backfire. Okay, it says. However, experts also fear rollbacks to Section Two Hundred and Thirty could go too far, and ir- and it says and destroy the the free speech foundations upon which the internet was built. Yeah, they're going to shut. They're going to entirely shut all that down, man. All right, they're pissed off. OK, but this is Amos chapter eight, verse 11. This will this is the prophecy that ultimately once this comes into fruition and it's an, until it's fulfillment, this is what's going to be fulfilled. This is Amos chapter eight, verse 11. It reads, behold, the days come, saith the Lord power that that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread or a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So it, it mentioned I, the Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the power of the Israelites, the power of the universe are, is going to have this come into fulfillment. All right. Verse 12. And we're here just to warn the masses to receive the message of the Israelites, to receive the message of the prophets before it is too late. Repent before it is too late. OK. Verse 12, it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. See, scrambling all over the place to seek the true understanding of what's going on, the signs and the wonders, all right, and the meaning in behind these signs and wonders, all right, such as the earthquakes that's taking place. What's the meaning behind that? These are signs of the end times. That's the meaning, all right? That's the understanding of it, all right? And at least, and at least having that knowledge, all right, to, to, to believe that, okay? The old worlds of the people, that's a, that's a sign of the end. All right, these things are supposed to take place before Yahweh Shah returns, before the Messiah returns to the earth to judge and deliver. Okay, verse 13. And that day, speaking upon the last days that we're living in right now, shall fit shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. All right, because they're going to be thirsting after the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these holy scriptures. Without the truth, these people, it's just, it's just a, a you're just truly a dead person walking. All right, without the truth. Okay. Let me let me let me let me grab that with Proverbs just quickly. Quick precept. Proverbs 21, verse uh 16. It reads, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in a congregation of dead. Alright. Those that 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 willingly ignore, okay, the word of the Lord and, and the messages and the and the prophecies. Okay, you remain a, in a congregation of dead. You're truly at a dead state. Alright. You just you just physically you're physically walking. But you're truly spiritually dead. All right. So let me also go to Amos. Um, because that article there also shows you their hate for the prophets. OK. And they want and they want. And that's how the so-called white man operates. He doesn't come, uh, you know, straight to your face and and, and say what he's going to do. He's going to have this thing uh, written in legislation. All right. It's going to be written in, in, a, in a law. All right. Then they're going to act upon it. OK. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 10. It reads, they, sh- they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. All right, and that's exactly what we do. We rebuke the wickedness and the, and the wicked actions that take place upon the planet Earth. All right, worldwide. Not only in America, not only in Africa, not only in Asia, but worldwide, man. We rebuke the wickedness, all right, as we're supposed to do. But we're, we're supposed to call it out, all right, and make it known unto our people. All right, that's that's truly warning. That's truly being watchman for the Israelites. Okay, and they hate them that speak upright. They hate that we correctly bring out the scriptures or what the scriptures say. All right, because that's truly speaking uprightly. All right, because we speak uh, straight, strictly coming from the scriptures. All right, as we're supposed to. We're not speaking upon what what we think, our own feelings, our own thoughts. 
you know, our imaginations. No, we, we're speaking upon what the scriptures say. All right. This is how we know what we know. This is first Peter chapter four, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the most high. If any man minister, let him do it as the as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. All right. So yeah, that is the it's the it's the it's the ability that the Lord gave us to to warn the people. Ability for, for the, Lord, the Lord gave us to rightly divide the word of truth and to teach it correctly according to the Bible. All right. And that we may, that we may glorify Yahweh by Shemiah Shai correctly. OK. And in order and to in that praise and that rulership is going to be given to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai and really going to be what joint heirs with our power. OK. That's what and that's the benefits and that's the promises that come with the return of Yahweh Shai. To deliver the elect of the children of Israel out of our out of the out of our slavery that we're in now worldwide, and that dominion that that rulership and that and that heavenly <laughs> that heavenly dominion is going to be given to the Israelites. Okay, simple as that. All right. So let me also grab um, Psalm seventy four. All right. This is Psalm seventy four, and I'll start at verse. I started at verse 7. This is Psalm 74, verse 7. It reads, They have cast fire into thy sanctuary. They have defiled by casting down the dwelling place, the dwelling place of thy name to the ground. They said in their hearts, yeah, their minds, you know, the heathen, all right, st leading and starting with the so-called white man Esau Edom. That's his true biblical identity, all right? They're not white people. They're truly Edomites. It says, Let us destroy them together. They have burned up all the synagogues of God in the land. And they, they, what other uh, Psalms chapter 83, all right, goes into that, that confederacy, that, that, uh, that alignment of nations that agreed to bring down the children of Israel. They all have been in cahoots in agreement with each other, all right, to bring down the, the, the children of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans. This is all part of the plan, all right? But the Lord is going to have this... Uh, <laughs> thing at the world as we know it today uh flip upside down all right it's going to truly turn it right side up verse 9 it reads we see not our signs there is no more any prophet neither is there any it's like it neither is there among us any that know of how long yeah that, that's that that's that uh confusion is going to come into place all right, without the prophets, without the, the men of the Lord giving an understanding of what's going on and why these things are happening People are going to be lost, all right, and where, and where there is no vision, the people perish, all right? So without that faith, all right, without that comfort being established, people are going to be confused. People are going to be without hope, okay? They're going to be faithless, okay? They're, they're, just, they're just going to be ultimately through, all right? Spiritually through and physically through, okay? This is what's coming, all right, due to the, the fulfillment of the famine of the word due to the fulfillment of attempting that the so-called white man is truly going to attempt to shut down the prophets. All right. And the Lord is going to allow that famine to take place because why he has already written for these things to happen. All right. So lastly, I want to grab Lamentation chapter five, verse 14. It reads, the elders have ceased, stopped from the gate. The young man from their music, the joy of our heart is ceased. Yeah, everything's going to come to a complete stop, complete end. Our dance is turned into mourning. The crown is falling from our head. Woe unto us that we have sinned. All right. So reality is going to set in for the people once, you know, once these uh, limitations and these restrictions are put upon not only YouTube, but on Facebook, Twitter. All right. Media outlets. All they're going to they're going to put they're going to crack down. All right, on all this so-called hate speech, so-called misinfo, all right? They're going to crack down on all these things, and these are just the steps, all right? Supreme Court uh, coming across these cases next week, coming into their uh, making a, a true and full decision by this summer. And we're hopeful for all these things, all these prophecies to come to pass within this year that we're currently in of 2023, all right? This is, this is what's, what's going on, and we ought to alert our people of why it is going on. All right. So, Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying and also encouraging to you sincere believers and you sincere listeners. All right. Repent. Yahweh Shai is coming back. 
All right. And all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachel Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. Shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom.